Welcome to the loop. when your yeah! iPad's dead. You, you take a week off from doing shows and you don't get any juice to your iPad. Yep. Kyle doesn't have electricity at his house. It's in my uh, bag. So it's not charging. <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to... Don't, don't make me, shoot me, Kyle. I'll shoot you right here. <laughs> don't do it, please. I don't want to look because it's unnerving to have a gun pointed at your face. It is a large, heavy gun, too. I know. Trevor brought it all. He's here and his... I don't know. Kanye Western. Yeah. That's, that's probably nicer than it deserves. Uh, Especially this hat is just so like I, I like the hat a lot, but it like it looks tiny on my giant head. Well, Eric's it's the only one that's not red deaded up because I've got a red dead oh, shirt yeah, on too. You don't see my underwear. You're right. I don't. I don't know if you've got a Union Jack suit on. Uh-huh. Where can I put this hat? I've got underwear on. So there. He's got under ruse. Uh huh. They got the cook on him from the camp. I can't think of his name right now, but that's uh, Pearson. Pearson. Pearson yeah. yeah, they got Pearson under on. Hey. Uh, welcome to the Loop, it's a talk show about video games. It's been a while, you know. We were, took a week off for the holidays. We hope you all got stuffed by your turkey, uh, and you stuffed your turkey. This show is not yep. family friendly over the pond, across the pond, as they might say. But here, it's, it's fine. A large pond. Because we stuff our turkeys every year, and no one calls the police on us. Yes. Uh, it is lovely to be here. The weather's cold. Um, Jeremy is gone. He is somewhere that I haven't thought of <laughs> yet. <laughs> Because it, I hadn't had time to think of it. Yeah, before because the show Trevor, started. Trevor just got him right before the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you think I have this fake gun? So I don't know. I think <laughs> I think Jeremy might be on the, the that Tubcast show tomorrow. Maybe. Um, we'll you know, see. We're really glad everyone's here. Welcome to the chat. They're Oliver and Roan and the Wanderer. Um, we're glad that wherever you wander, you found your way here. Uh, yeah. It, you know, it, video games. I've been out, and if you've, you know, you took some time off for the holidays, you had you had time to play the video games. Uh, I, so, or what are we talking about in the chat? We got some, uh, Trevor couldn't remember Pearson's name. No, I couldn't remember Pearson's no, name. No, Trevor, I was the first I one. Either, I, yeah. I brought, I got it. I never remember Pearson's I got name. you, Ronan. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, it's, you know, there's a lot of games going on, a lot of games to be played. I mean, Red Dead... You know, just launch their online service mm-hmm. for some people, not everyone. Not yeah. ev- only the elite. Although, yesterday it was Ultimate Edition only. Today it's people. Today who it's play anyone who played it day one. Yeah, so and I could have technically gotten in. Yeah. Which that was really confusing. I misread that at first, and I thought I think I thought tomorrow was day one people. Day one or something. But yeah. so no, I tomorrow turned my, is like I tur- it's everyone tomorrow. No, everyone's no, Friday. Tomorrow's anyone that played like, like from the second to fourth day or whatever. Yeah. Oh, so there's four days of like yeah. letting people in. That's probably yep. so it doesn't break like it did with yeah. GTA. And that's yep. really good because yeah, this launch has been not horrible so far. I mean, it could be horrible. I don't long. think I've okay. So I fired it up tonight, but I was the first because I was a day one player, but I didn't have the fancy schmancy version. Yeah, but I uh, I I. Uh, I don't know. I didn't. I don't think I'm online yet because I feel like there's a lot of story building up, and when I go to the pause menu, it shows online is locked. So um, that's interesting. You have a little tutorial to go through. It doesn't. It feels like I started a new game of a different, a totally just like, hey, this is Red Dead 2.5. Like this is a different game. It starts up like another. Like it's got credits rolling at the beginning. It's got like this whole story. The character creator was kind of fun the way they did it it's not yeah. a very in-depth create like you it, no matter what you do you're gonna look like an idiot <laughs> i uh, got my guy to where he doesn't he looks 
somewhat There's normal. like one <laughs> face that looks okay. Well, All the other faces look like you like got kicked by the horse already. This is the well, tip who I'll... hasn't gotten kicked by a <laughs> horse in that game? <laughs> this is the tip I'll give. Uh, for the character creator, go down. There's a section called, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like uh, it's like lifestyle or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, yeah. Take all those and make them all neutral, just normal, and then add them later because otherwise they all will look like freaks no matter oh, what. Oh, so is that what I did? That wrong? helps. That helps immensely. That's a good tip. Um, and, Hot and, tips with Trevor. And maybe. maybe even go through. There's like you can make everything else kind of neutral. Maybe make those all neutral, and then you can mess with it later. Oh, okay. Because then otherwise, yeah, they all do like yeah. When I first started going through, I was like, these these people all look like mutants. I'm yeah. Just like, am I playing Fallout? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, uh, no, it, it it gets a little better if you if you have a little bit of time to mess with it, because I I learned that from my first character. Well, and then make very sure you you like your character. You can change your hair, just so you know. And your beard, right? Your beard and your teeth for some reason. I don't know why. They make go to a dentist. Yeah, I, I mean it's it's all it's all at the same place. I don't know. But, but your the, face, you're stuck with your face. You're that's stuck what with your, your face. That's though. what your mama gave you. Yeah, and I I had these super wide. Like cheekbones, <laughs> they stuck out farther than anything else what? in my face. <laughs> Did you not I, notice that? I <laughs> didn't notice it when I and I I saw it in the gameplay. I was like, I I I have to restart. I can't do <laughs> no, this. No, so you didn't really you didn't really role play with this one, Trevor, because <laughs> that not... <laughs> that is what that character was born to look like. <laughs> well, he's dead now. So <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, he he died shortly after the beginning of the game. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of in, intrigued by the idea. I, like, I've read a couple different things about how the online is is set up, how it yeah. works, and like that. There's a lot of story, and then after the story, that it's a little unsettling because you never know if someone is going to come up on you and try to attack you. And I've I've had that happen a couple. Like, I, I was playing the other night, and I'd set up a camp to wait for for night so that I could get to another mission, and some dudes like came up to my camp and tried to hold me up and i wonder if it's like that all the time with online can they Be kill you at the, at your camp i i thought you couldn't die at your camp but I'm, I, I mean maybe not there. at you there's i'm sure there's probably specific things but i mean like that terror yeah. of man everyone that's out here instead <laughs> of being like oh all these people are just a bunch of idiots that i just say howdy partner yeah, yeah they're they're all gonna try and kill me yeah i am hopeful that maybe the community will be less hostile than gta online's it may not be but it yeah. probably won't be oh, I, doubt it. <laughs> I mean especially when so. you can just be a, a bad honor person so if you there's honor in the in online which yeah. is insane Trevor, i like that have you played, I like it too have you played so have you gotten in too much of the online stuff or yeah you... i've i've played probably about five or six hours now okay I, I i did buy the ultimate edition but what is the like what's what sort of thing are you doing that in, interacts with other players in that world does you, are you just kind of putting a random server unless you team up with a, your friends in a game yeah. or something yeah you're putting a random server i i think i'm pretty sure i'm like 95 percent sure they will have eventually like just alone servers. a ton of heists uh, well i'm I mean, sure they'll have the, i'm sorry they'll have uh private servers that's what i meant mm -hmm. oh okay so they, they've done that with the gta online and yeah i'm sure they will so i'm excited for that to happen but yeah um yeah they just put you in there with a with a just random other players um for some reason for a while it wasn't putting me in with anybody else really i because there weren't sure that a, that many elite buyers or ultimate buyers no i don't think it was even that i don't know if it was like i had to like start a because what happened was i i did a multiplayer thing because it was like uh, it'll it if you if you play GTA Online they have like little events that you can do right mm -hmm. um, and similar in this yeah it, this was a little more heavy though this I, I this was like actually a match or something mm -hmm. I thought maybe it was just a you know because GTA Online had like fly upside down for as long as possible I'm assuming I think there's stuff like that too but this like put me into a match with a bunch of other players and then after that I was in matched up with a bunch of different people um, yeah. But it's I I really like the way they're doing it though because like you can do all these do different little missions and they uh, the missions will have like usually they have some part to where uh, like other people can interfere with this stuff like there's several there's like uh, caravan escorts mm -hmm. and to where they're just like you're, they're you're like supposed to get the caravan to another uh, point B you know whatever 
And then and so the players sp- could come attack the caravan though. And just mess you up. And mess you up. And I totally just did that this afternoon. I felt a little bad. But so did, did you get a did you get a feel for how many <clears throat> players seem to be on a server with you? Like does it seem like a hundred or two hundred or Oh heavens, I don't think it was I think they're smaller. I think they're maybe like in the thirty range. I'm not sure. Because it was in GTA I think GTA was like thirty. It was it on a server? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't I don't think big, it was yeah. that insane. I wouldn't no. be surprised. I guess I'm not positive. They they might do it up a bit more just because the world is huge. Yeah, I, and f- I feel like it's so big it could hold a lot more people. Yeah. Than well, and it's made a lot more big because mm-hmm. you're not in you know cars that are traveling you know, ninety miles yeah. an hour <laughs> or jets that yeah. are traveling. Because I think it still yes. technically is a smaller game world than probably than GTA Five was because that map was, was insanely <laughs> huge. Yeah. No, this is in no way smaller. It can't it, be. Yeah, it, it has to be. Was ginormous, as fast though. as you traveled in in vehicles to get. I mean, it took. It took you almost 20 minutes to drive up to the top part of the island. It takes you like an hour to ride across on a horseback in well, this thing. You're going like a quarter of the speed, though. I want some facts. Uh, I need some facts. So Ronan, Ronan threw in the chat, did you guys see the guy who wrote Rockstar and demanded to play uh, the Ultimate Edition because of something? I don't know. Our chat just disappeared. Uh, he, We've got the, uh, the, the tweets here. He said, you guys did not state in the details of the <laughs> Ultimate Edition that online would come first to those that purchased it. Due to this fact, you cannot give those people access to online before others. If you guys continue to push through with your plans to give access to Ultimate Edition purchasers before those that played on October 26th, then I will accept an Ultimate Edition code as compensation <laughs> for lack of information of the Ultimate Edition and or favoritism of the Ultimate Edition players. Good grief, man. Just settle down. <laughs> Just, it's it's one a beta day. for online. Yeah. Like, who cares? Yeah. I mean, is any of this stuff carrying over into the actual online once... It's no longer in beta. I think so. I'm. I. I hope so. Kind of because otherwise, I feel like I kind of wasted some of my time. But I'm assuming it carries over. Okay. But I mean, and honestly, it's it's going to impact nothing. <laughs> so I mean, right. This I don't. I don't. I mean, it, the the idea that you have to. I mean, they probably didn't entirely come up with the idea of how they were going to roll out their beta until after. No, the fact no. anyway. So who cares? Yeah, they got access to it earlier. Good for them. Yeah, like I get over for yourself, like two buddy. Two hours or something. So it, yeah, two hours. Woohoo! <laughs> you got way ahead of everyone. Yeah. yeah, I don't like it, Trevor. Give me all of your ultimate edition points. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't have a good image of it, but if I mean, it looks like GTA might be a third of the size of the of the Red Dead map. Um, Are you sure? Look at I, it. Look at the size comparison right, right here on my screen. I doubt that. No. I mean, I guess maybe if you're including, I mean, you guys, if you're huge. Are you kidding me? It is the huge. Original I'm Red Dead Redemption. Game. I'm not two doubting that it's huge. huge. Think about but how huge that world is. As it is not nearly as big as like the GTA, little the the, the, the part down in the south is like almost all of GTA Five. What heavens? No, definitely not. For sure. Definitely not. No. Like, okay. that might be maybe the tiny northern portion. Maybe I got the wrong image. Let me find a good image. I feel like I'm, I'm reporting Fox yeah, that was. Right I mean, that was, a, that was an image off of a video from some YouTuber, probably. Yeah, that's true. Now, is this the... That's not... That's Red Dead. There's a lot comparing the original Red Dead oh, with... Oh, yeah. It's and, way bigger yeah. than the original Red and Dead. And so that's why I think it's hard to but. find maps that... You know what? I'm just going to watch that video. And we're uh. going to see what this video says. Okay? There's 25 seconds. It's no a 25 way. second it's video. Than GTA is five. GTA 5's there it is. Look at it. Huge. Look at it right there. Well, yeah, you can you can also like that's that's shrink no and expand. Yeah, it's like okay, it's like twice as big. Red Dead Redemption Two is like twice as big. I as I GTA. don't think that's to scale. That can't be to scale. Oh my gosh, is, guys, have you not played these games? I have played both, <laughs> and I can tell you, uh, Los Santos is not that tiny. <laughs> it is. Los Santos. Think th- about how fast you can get around, though, in the city of Los Santos. Like, not that fast. I mean, you can get from one into that to the other pretty quick. No, it's maybe maybe Kyber's found a better comparison here. Is this Red Dead Two versus GTA? There's another one that shows almost the same thing I just said. That's not the map. Though. That's oh wait, is this, that's that's an old map. 
Oh, that's, that's like a uh, yeah, yeah. That's someone. Oh, that was like that was like an early yeah. leak. I I don't know that. Let's see. Let's find something that's more <sighs> more firm, like uh, like someone who uses a thigh master. That's what we're looking for. There's an uh, estimate the Red Dead map to be 12 square miles. Red Dead 2, 29. Uh, mm-hmm. But I don't see what the... Well, the problem with the, the miles thing, too, is those aren't always to scale. So that's kind of hard to say. Yeah. Scalos. Oh, this is a, we're doing some live on-the-fly search just <laughs> to prove Trevor wrong. No, I am, because I'm positive this game is bigger. Uh, but that just... But that might just be the horsey that makes me feel slow. Um, like certainly to like, like feeling wise. I mean, functionally, it's probably at least as big. They should just put a car in the game so we can, <coughs> you know, see what. But that like, is. as far as like actual size, though, I'm. It's a lot more dense than GTA G, GTA Five's map too, though. Hmm. It takes 14 minutes at a fast gallop to cross Red Dead Redemption 2 from corner to corner. <laughs> Boy, I would have thought that was... See, and this one here shows that this is uh, comparatively, it is much smaller. This is this is from Newsweek. It looks that's like the it. That old looks game. weird. That that's looks the weird old though. game. That's Red Dead Redemption 1. That is, yeah. yeah. That's Red Dead Redemption 1. Whoa! Thank you, Jay Oliver, for su- subbing. Oh, you. You're a subscriber you. at tier one, four months in a row. Woo! Oh my gosh! Yeah, but if Thanks. we're, I don't know. I no. don't know. It's. Anyways, go ahead and talk about the Fallout seventy six while I research this, Trevor. Tell I, us why it's I great. I played it, so I... you bought it. You tell us why it's good. I'll tell you why it's good. It's not. You didn't even play it. Kyle. I played it for an hour, and I pulled the disc out, and because I was. Bored out of my mind, and hour? I couldn't. I couldn't an deal hour, with the jank. Like I couldn't I, deal with the jank. I'm not saying it's great, but an hour is not enough to determine anything about a video game, unless it's like Trevor. Angry Birds. Trevor, <laughs> I've played like 70 hours uh, or more of that game already. It's called Fallout Three and Fallout Four. Well, it's the exact same thing. It's multiplayer, it's, though. You're not. You, oh, you didn't even have time to get into I the don't, multiplayer stuff. That is I don't not even care tutorial. about the multiplayer stuff. Well, then why would you ever buy it? See, I didn't is, buy it. This is my thing. Nobody. They, I think this. This like it's got some jank. I'm sure. Oh, it's a but Bethesda like, game. It has jank. But I'm pretty sure the reason it's getting bombed so much is because everybody's like, it's not a Fallout game. No, it's a multiplayer Fallout game. Don't buy this game if you're going to complain about it being multiplayer. It doesn't have NPCs. No, it doesn't. It just has a bunch of like little no. Little there are some shopkeeper. You go up robots. to and then you listen to an audio recording. Of, yeah. Yes, I know, and I I am entirely know what I bought. I'm just saying that's that. It's I I feel like I feel like Bethesda to a certain extent has a responsibility to their community. And they have a lot of people who are going to defend them to the death. And people are still defending this game. But to release this at a $60 price tag? Yeah. yeah. And then I'm not and saying then, there weren't mistakes made. And then they sent this out. This should have this should have been a $20 game that was early access that, hey, we're going to make this better. And then maybe we'll sell some cosmetics to make up the difference if, we, if it turns out to be good. But, like, just I, I have watched... I have been on the cusp of buying this game, especially since it's been so cheap over Black yeah, Friday and everything. I, yeah. I have been like almost to pull the trigger over and over and over again because I, I like Fallout. I want to take take it in, you know. I want to try yeah. it out. But oh my gosh, I have wa- I've read so many reviews. I have watched so much gameplay, and every time I'm close, I'm just like, oh, what is this? There's <laughs> no, no yeah. there's like there's, no, there's no. Okay, there's nothing. The new. only thing that's gonna that you're gonna maybe have fun with is. If you had a group of friends and you're just screwing around, and you, and you could probably have some fun there, I'm I'm not gonna doubt that because I, like I think you could, but I think it's, but, but I I'm gonna have fun because I like I can make my own fun in games a lot, and it's I think it's a game that is meant for that. I don't, but so, I don't yeah. think they give you enough tools to really take advantage of it. Like, I think about what what's fun in Fallout. Like, I mean, at least maybe I'm just thinking of me. Like, I didn't the base building. I enjoyed that in the last game. I don't think it was revolutionary or anything and but it was a fun thing and they have that in this new one but so much of that game is stumbling upon these 
characters that have gone th- that have these crazy stories that send you on these crazy quests and and watching those things play the f- the factions in 4 was were, was like a huge deal that was like mm-hmm. such a cool part of that game like choosing who which faction I'm going to be a part of and uh you know and, and, and now like all that's not here it's just no. it's the just this, the only see- thing they did is said hey Here's a game, and we made it multiplayer, and we took out all the good stuff. It felt like, like they, they moved a lot of the controls and kind of dumbed them down in a weird way, too. Like, why was your jump rather than a, a why lower... Why has always been the jump? It's always been the jump it's in that game? It's always been the jump, yeah. Because it's uh, always been stupid. It's just so like, then, this yeah, is dumb. It's, just, it's, like it, it's like they just they haven't done... They haven't put nearly the amount of work that they should have put into a new game when they released Fallout 4. And the, the well, fact see, this is the thing, though. This is not the next Fallout. Well, this but we're all aware matter. of that. It's I'm the exact of... same thing. It's built on the exact same engine that 3 and 4 were built but, on. Okay. Four but you was, guys are four complaining was... like it's not no, going to be, here's the, there's not going here's to be the a thing, new Trevor, Fallout game Trevor, ever. It's not, it's not that I'm complaining that there's not a new Fallout game. And, and what he's saying is that there's a lot of things that make Fallout great that you're you're never going to experience because there's none of those in this game. No. So... It's it's one of those things. I mean, walking through that, it was like, okay, I'm hearing. I mean, Fallout Four was there was a lot of good things about that, but I was very disappointed in the way that that game was set up, and so much of it was just like, man, they didn't polish. They they threw a new coat of paint on the on Fallout Three, and oh, gosh, gave you different. No, definitely not. Yes, they, it, it, was ex- it was. They recycled all the music. There was there was all kinds of things that just felt like it was. It was an un. It was a game that did not have the polish that Fallout should have. It was way for, different than Fallout Three. The engine was was far better than Fallout Three. The like it had a lot of the refinements of Fallout New Vegas. It had uh, Fallout New Vegas was a different studio, but it was it was like the same system though, and like and like a lot of the like the aiming down the sights, like the uh, the weapon crafting stuff. It had all that kind of stuff. I, th- I think the other thing is like their their engine is so dated at this point. Oh, it's and very the fact dated, that yeah. they're they just recently Todd Howard said that that Star whatever is going to be built in this engine. Yeah, that doesn't put a, my scary. mind. Does not put yeah. any but, hope of that new franchise at all. I I know this. I was not. Not even a tiny little bit of me expected Fallout 76 to be a new Fallout game. They made no. that very clear. Anybody who watched the yeah. press conference knew that. I understand some people were dense and didn't watch that, and they just heard Fallout and got excited. But I, I knew that going into it. But I, I, I had hoped that maybe there would be, they would have, there would be an experience here that would be fun. But it just, I haven't played it. I'm taking I'm, I'm, everything I am saying is based off of reading reviews and watching people play the game. The sentiment that is across the board is just like I mean I have seen some people in like forums who've kind of said similar to what Trevor said even though he doesn't play the game but they've said like hey I'm having fun with it like I'm getting there with my friends we're going on these adventures crazy things are happening the jank is there we like it it's fun like what and 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 I'm not doubting that but I still think like if you paid sixty bucks for that game you kind of got ripped off yeah. like I f- I kind of feel bad because I mean I could I would have. I could have easily done that. Like I would have, I almost did do that. And like, this is not a $60 game. This is not. And it's, it's highway robbery that they would even consider. I'm not saying you cannot have fun with this game. You can have fun with any game. You right. Can, but I, I, you can have fun with, fu- with butts. Kyle loves that game. That game it's was a, great. It's an experience. There's and, nothing, and there's nothing experience. that you do. It took five minutes. It was his fi- I've played favorite it, game. I've game played of year it multiple 2016 times. 2016 for Kyle. It was game of the yeah. year 2016. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm just saying you can have fun with any game, but, but butts. I think that the value, I, I, I mean, I don't know. You could probably play Fallout 76 for 200 hours and with your friends and have a good time and no problems with it. But I just, I just think that, I think that there's a certain thing about Fallout that people have come to expect somewhat. Like, and I feel like none of that's there. Like, all it yeah. is is monsters. It's just the monsters, and then it's like audio logs, like, and maybe some vendors. Yeah. Like, that's the right. whole thing. And then you run into people. For me, I'm excited about, and one thing I've really heard is that is is great about the game is the world, um, and I'm really excited just to explore the world. That's uh, for me. That's like the one thing I almost pulled the trigger story. is I saw in a, a, a Facebook group that I'm part of. Someone posted a picture of their little area they built, and it was down by a swamp or a little body of water. Yeah, and they like had photos of them just hanging out on this porch and everything that they had built. 
Yeah. And I was just like, okay, the, the premise of that is so cool. But like, mm-hmm. for one, I, I don't have any friends that are going to play it with me. I don't, I don't have like, and then I don't, and everything that everyone says is like, if you're going into this as a single player game, don't do it. Like, it's just, that's the other side of it. Like, if you're not going to be playing it with, I mean, other people, I mean, like you said, Trevor, you could explore the world and I, I'm sure that would be fun. But I think once you've seen, taken in that world, like, I don't know yeah. what's, what's that'll, left that'll after. take a while though. A couple hours, maybe? A couple hours? Walk around and... Heavens no, it'll take way longer than that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh yeah I I don't know I feel I I don't know I haven't I'll probably pl- check that game out sometime I I, I think guess. well and that's the thing like I think you know maybe it's not it's not good at all right now but I think it will be a lot better because I think they're learning from this I think this is a grand experiment um for the for Bethesda um and I think it could be really good later on. So yeah. I just I mean the other thing too was like for as large as the the game was with like the download I'm trying to remember what it was that um it was like 50 something and there was like a 50 some patch after that. No, it was like it was like yeah, there was a a large patch and everything with it. Um oh yeah, it was the the disc itself had 336 MB and there was 50 plus gigs oh, really? from oh, the network. Stupid. And I'm like, man, this it, 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 just, it, it literally just, it, downloaded the game. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like there was nothing on the disc, and it just, yeah. I don't know. The whole thing just, it, I, I touched it. Um, I, it, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. I don't think, I don't think there was nearly any kind of charm that would suck you into the, the world of Fallout, um, that this did. Um, versus like like other games where they I, I don't know it just it didn't feel like there was much that was put into um, into it other than hey let's just take a lot of the stuff that we already have and throw them out there so that they can grind and grab stuff to build armor uh, and shoot each other that's kind of what it felt like it was As, I mean from from the beginning because there's there's just there's not really anything that that <coughs> starts you out other than audio logs and that I, I who cares like i mean i th- i think that's the way they're trying to build the in the, in the th- i guess the lore of the game is through those audio logs um and, and it's whatever it's a video game you can't right. be too critical of some of that storytelling mechanisms but like it is still like it's just silly because a lot of the stuff is just like everybody you run across just happened to record an audio log before they die yeah, <laughs> like yeah. it's right. just like i mean Weird i get it like there's a lot of suspension of belief that has to happen yeah. and that's happens in a lot of video games but it's just like the whole world in this <laughs> game all of them thought to record a very meticulous and detailed audio log right. for your purposes before the end of the world. <laughs> and, and say a lot like... of things that they wouldn't, no human would actually <laughs> yeah. say. I am walking along here. Mm-hmm. Or something. Else. It's just, it's it, some of that stuff is just, is silly. Um, yeah. I do think it's cool that they've tried to explain some of it. Like, Hey, that you're like the first ones to leave the vault. Yeah. Um, even though aren't there, like some in- NPC enemies that are like yeah like uh, what are they called the not raiders but um, sunburned oh the the, the yeah the cinder they're like human the... but they must be the humans that didn't have a vault or something is the yeah. way I yeah there were it. I ran into some of those that were like I think they were called like the sun sun something they like looked yeah. like they were like scorched people I thought they were ghouls at first and then they were like scorched people so Jolver in the chat says I like it but. Definitely, just the chat moved as I went to read that. But I, I like it. Expected more. Uh, but it, yeah, definitely expected more. Very happy I didn't get the special edition. Yeah. Uh, he says it not being a sixty dollars game. Can't agree. He uh, says he expects massive updates and repairs. Now that's the thing. Like a, a, a company like Bethesda, I think I think you can have some goodwill towards expecting that game to yeah. grow and expect because it's a big company. Maybe they've put out other things. I'm just saying you should be able to. Right. But, but I also I also just am wondering like 
the way they cut the price so quick, like people bought it like a week. I mean, what a slap in the face to people who bought this game. Yeah, like, yeah, that you, was, I mean, even Battlefield. Yeah. Like, I paid sixty bucks for Battlefield Five, and I see that Target has it on sale for thirty <laughs> bucks now. I was upset with uh, that. I was, Dang it! Uh, <laughs> um, and it's stuff like that where you're just like, oh, that makes it kind of rough. My uh, I the want Ronan the Wanderer real quick said uh, that the collector's edition was two hundred dollars and it came with like a canvas bag. Uh, well, it was supposed to. Oh, it was supposed to come it came with a, with a nylon bag. Oh, it came and with so it. they were upset with that no, because man. well, and then they because uh, the canvas bag would have been worth one hundred and forty dollars. Yeah. Well, it, they it, said it was it too expensive. Lot, yeah, they said it was too expensive to do, which is just so they aren't planning crap. on doing anything about it. Oh yeah. boy. Um, uh, he also said if Sea of Thieves can do it, I mean my. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I, my concern is I hope they don't do this. I hope they fix it for free because I my worry is that they're going to pull a Destiny um, and Ugh. they're going to be like, well, here's the game. Oh, you want the fixed game? It's another $60. Here, here's the thing with so. Ronan saying if Sea of Thieves can do it. I am not a Sea of Thieves apologist, and everybody knows that here. Like, right. I, I've had my <laughs> qualms with that game, but I, I think the, the difference is, to me, you can argue with me if you want, but that game is a hundred times more polished than Fallout seventy six. Oh, yeah, yes, there is, definitely. The jank yeah. is not there. Like that game, the combat isn't great, but it's it feels but yeah. polished. It feels yeah. like the movement, the uh, the way you interact with other NPCs that are. I mean, there's not very many there's of them. There's nothing but, that feels unintended. But everything, yeah, you don't see or weird glitchy feels, like yeah. jerking around. The, like some of the nightmare stuff that people have posted that this game is producing, like yeah. is crazy. Like the, yeah. and and I mean the other the other thing with that is that Sea of Thieves was built entirely as a game that was a multiplayer game in that way. This is like this is like paying sixty dollars for Grand Theft Auto Online, which came with Grand Theft Auto Five. Like there, and and it it doesn't have the same kind of polish of any of those games. So it seems like it's just a, it, it almost it feels like it's kind of a cash grab, um, by Bethesda. Which I, I mean, I I kind of think that that's really what it was. It it seems weird to me. I it seems rushed for one. Like mm-hmm. it shouldn't be out. Like it, it should have been a beta or early yeah, access game, where you paid less. Now, and I and I I can agree to you with with you, Jolliver, to a certain extent. Like m- maybe this has the potential to be a sixty dollar game, and, and I'm not. And that's probably true. But I just feel like at this point, to make people pay sixty dollars to get in, because I mean there are a lot of Fallout fans. I'm one of them. I yep. was excited to play a Fallout game. But after seeing this, I'm just like, I I mean, maybe I'm hoping there's a bunch of updates and they make this game really cool. And maybe in, you know, six months to a year, we come back and talk about this game and it's yeah. like awesome. And I hope that's the that's the best case scenario. Yeah. But what bothers me is it's the same thing that bothered me with Sea of Thieves. It's the same thing that bothered me with a lot of these other early access games is that they're selling people. They're, people are They're selling people a dream. Like they're selling people this potential that they have n- no way to prove that they're going to bring. Like, I mean, and, and I get it. People, you're, you can do whatever you want with your money, but I still think like video games have always kind of been like a known quantity to a certain extent. Like you kind of know what you're getting into. Like they can be bad and whatever, but like just to be like, Oh, here's, here's this game. We know it's rough. Like we're, we promise we're going to work on it. It's going to be great though, guys. Like, mm-hmm. and I mean, I, I know, I know that, that there's like the star citizens and different things like that, where people, you, you're putting a lot of hope into it and hopefully you're right. Hopefully that stuff pans out. But I also feel like that's a real dangerous game because the more we allow developers to do that, like how many, how many times are you going to spend 60 bucks for something that's never going to turn into right. something like and I, mean, I, th- I don't think there's there's very very many games that are out there that are successful open world just kind of run around and do what you want i mean really i think that grand theft auto is the only one i can think of that has really been as successful with that with and what with just um, like not really there's a ton of them about rust or scum or... well okay you're right there there are some of those that that are out there but those Arc. are also Arc. ones Arc is you're right popular. okay minecraft is basically that but I mean, I guess I I think of <laughs> come on, Trevor. Let's just keep shooting. Just, down these yeah. <laughs> let's I, just keep kicking Kyle while he's dead. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm saying like something like this that's coming from a big studio that this is this is a <clears throat> soul released game. It just it feels off. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like this is the company that should be putting a game like this out either. Okay, um, real quick to not 
like I'm I'm done. I give up trying to find map comparisons. There, there's nothing that is like an image <laughs> thing. But I will say that there are multiple headlines, multiple that say Rockstar's biggest map ever. Fake so, news. So go ahead and search it. Go do your own research if you don't believe me. I don't know how much bigger, but they Rockstar themselves have been quoted as saying this is their biggest map ever. Uh, out of any other game they've ever created, so uh, take it as you will. It's it's probably like just this much bigger, Trevor. You're, it's fine. Okay, I'm I sorry. just I'm just I, I, I'm I'm just, fine being wrong. I just but it, they did I, say I too. They did say that it's gonna f- it does feel bigger too because of the slower pace of the, of your your you know yeah. your transportation and stuff like that. Yeah. But it is uh, Kuiper's brought up something else. I, that's still so early that I don't know how I, that that, that lo- looks. Full, I'm pretty sure that's the full map. That looks close to like. The, the maps. So. It does look close. Doesn't matter, that I guess. Whatever. Right, though. It, like, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, Rockstar said it, Trevor. Why don't you take it up with the Hauser brothers, okay? If you don't believe them, all right? <laughs> They've been quoted saying it's the biggest map ever, okay? I don't know what to tell you. Um, fake news is prevalent on the internet. I can say that. All right. Enough about Fallout. Yes, we've talked enough, enough about Fallout. Enough about Red Dead. Go, you know, if you want to get online, it looks like a thing. You can you can do the onlines uh, and hopefully play with other people. I just want to, like, lasso other real people and drag them around the map. That's all I want to do. I'm so happy that you can actually do that. <laughs> I know. I was like, <clears throat> I, I'm just, I, I want to do that so Th- that's bad. All I, that's really all I'm in for in this I, game. I just want to lasso people. I love um, how much of the lasso, main game the is intact. With the multiplayer, because like yeah. I love that you can hunt and yeah. actually make you can actually make a good chunk of money hunting. Um, I it's it just feels good. I, I saw I was playing when I was playing tonight. It's like kind of going through the first part of the the setup of the online stuff. I saw this mm-hmm. huge. I think it was a moose. I don't know. Maybe it was a. They, they, be, I th- they have a. They have, there's moose in there. But is it? What? There's it elk. Too. Elk. It was an elk. That's yeah. what it was. So I saw this elk. Two of them running, and one kind of got hung up on a tree. So I, I lassoed it, <laughs> and I jumped down. And I was just like pulling on it just for fun to see like if I could win this tug of war with this <laughs> giant beast. And it took about it took a few seconds. Like I, I went back and forth a little bit, but then it got like a clearing, and it just took off and just drugged me behind it. And it, it was awesome. I was like, oh, that was, that was fun. that's awesome. I, you know, the thing with I don't we got other stuff to talk about, but I do want to mention like. I, I think I talked a little bit about it last time we had the loop, which was two weeks ago, but I think this game, like, it really, it was kind of a, I don't know, it felt a little bit like a slog to get through it at the end. Like, I, I, I enjoyed a lot of the story. Like, I love the story. It's hands you down. You were tired of pressing A. I mean, it's hands down one of the best video game stories, maybe even, like, A, up there with some of the best, like, stories that I've just yeah. engaged with, whether yeah. whether it's movies or TV or whatever. Well, and it, Arthur's such a great character. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You, like, you Towards the end of it, you just, you're so sympathetic to his lot in life. And who, yeah. Uh, and I love the way that they kind of make you try to, they kind of, or they, they attempt to make you accountable for some of your murderous actions <laughs> in some ways. Uh, it, it but it's just there's something about this game still that like it, it I think you got to know you're going into it for this slow monotonous uh-huh, type of thing uh-huh. yeah but at a certain point if like I think if you play it like I did where I was just that non-stop every second I got I was playing this game and it just got tiring and I was just like ah, I just I, I'm not having fun I just want it to be over I just want to get to the next story like I don't want to do this I know that every one of the main story quests are going to be a, this setup and then I'm going to get in a chase or a big gunfight uh, and then that's how it's going to play out but I just cared about the story like I mm-hmm. and so I I don't know I, I, I think I, I'm I, I guess I'm saying all this because I'm thinking about like our as we start to rank our game of the year games mm-hmm. and like i'm like ah, it's, I, this it's might been be, a great year this might be an upset this year because i really thought just this was a given number one game of the year for me and for I, me it is but, and i just yeah. at this point i'm like i don't think it is i don't think it was that good it, it has been a great year though, I just, what it's, it's the, a lot you don't think that this than, was i don't think this i don't i'm not i'm not saying yet sure. but I, I i need to think about it more but i what would you what would you say i'm not that, gonna say that right now okay. monster hunter <laughs> monster hunter is my game of the year okay? <laughs> oh no but i just i, I don't guys, <clears throat> I love monster 
Monster Hunter. I <laughs> it's not Monster Hunter's fine, but it's that's I spent, not my I type spent of enough game. time to find out that I did not I am not a Monster yeah, Hunter. Yeah, that's not That's my, been one game I've been wanting to go back to. Anyhow, it's like game. I like to hit things over and over. Uh yeah, I just I don't I don't know. I couldn't I'm not going to say what I think my game of the year is, but I just don't I don't I don't know that it's this. Uh, <laughs> I, I suspect I know what it is. Oh, really? I'm curious. God just, of War? <laughs> maybe. Uh, yeah. No. I was right. <laughs> I, did, I, did. I mean, <laughs> maybe, Trevor. I didn't say for sure. I mean, every list every list this year is going to either say Red Dead or God of War. Yeah. Like, it, it, <sighs> Spider-Man. I, yeah. I mean, Spider-Man was great. You it's may get, I moment. think Spider-Man will be in people's top three in a lot of lists, but I don't know if I think about. Okay, so here's the thing: God, this is a really interesting like dichotomy to me. To God of War, to GTA, to, or I'm sorry, Red, Red Dead, Dead Redemption Two. Okay, Red Dead had re- established itself as a certain type of game. Mm-hmm. All the God of War franchise, which I grew, I played oh, yeah. those forever. Mm-hmm. They established themselves as a certain type of game. Mm-hmm. When I played both of them, wh- which one totally? F- Flipped it on. Oh yeah, and definitely. Totally yeah. innovated and totally changed. Had yeah. everything. They had an in- incredible story that I cared about, mm-hmm. and they had fun gameplay. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and I d- I didn't get bored of it. And well, that's and it th- was and it was incredible looking too. Yeah. And so here, so, so that's where I'm at right now. Where with Red Dead, like, okay, it's it iterated on a rock star formula. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. didn't reinvent the wheel. Yeah. It. it but it, it did make an, a gorgeous game. Like yeah. it's you could just walk ride around on a horse and look at mm-hmm. the landscapes. That's what yeah I've I've just been taking pictures. Of <laughs> yeah, it. it's beautiful. But but I'm just saying like if you're thinking about like it didn't surprise me in no, the yeah. way of gameplay at, really as I expected. I had all these ideas in my head of like mm-hmm. oh they're gonna do this and they're gonna do that. But everything that sounded interesting like with the camp and other stuff like that was so inconsequential by the time I got through that game yeah, yeah. that it was just a Red Dead game. It wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't anything it wasn't anything new. It was just a Rockstar game really. And, and that's not just a Rockstar game. Yeah, where I go, yeah, I mean that's million, not something millions small, and millions of dollars yeah. spent on this game and years to make it. I, I wasn't trying to be reductive, but I'm no, just saying like it's yeah. still that same. It didn't formula. defy expectations. Yeah, it didn't to me. I I, I think yeah, the story is really I can good, get that. But, but that's why know. I'm like torn. I'm just like this was yeah, this was definitely. a given that this was my yeah. number one game of the this year. This game was going to be great. Uh-huh. Well, no it'll be what. interesting to see what you choose out of those two. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it, be, it for me like it was always going to be Red, Red Dead because like even if Red. Like we should would, not have the game of the year show right now. No. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, let's. We should stop. Yeah, We've got so other things that but, we need to talk about, and but, we are running but out of I'm time. I'm just saying, I don't want Trevor to commit to this already. I feel like you're committing to Red Dead. Well, I'm for not. Me, for me, it was always going to be Red Dead. Because that's that's a terrible for thing, me, though. Well, for me, that's like, like to say original, that there's nothing. Like, what if they just put out the same well, game? If it, again? if it was awful, it wouldn't have. Been, yeah. Obviously, but like. Red Dead Redemption was like my favorite game of all time, like hands down. I think it might have like, been mine too, like up until a certain point. If, like, like honestly, they if like if they had only just marginally made it slightly better, it would have still probably been my game of the year, just because I I love this game, I love yeah everything about it, and but yeah, so I mean it would it would have been taken like God of War is incredible, but it would have had to be like even I don't know, I yeah it's yeah okay. Uh, we've still been playing some other games. Uh, I mean, Hitman. I haven't. <laughs> uh, some of us have. Okay, you just be quiet now, Trevor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Trevor's I, only played. Re- played I did Red pick Dead. up Hitman, and I'm very excited. Hitman about Two it. is great. I finished the. I finished the like the all the stages. I didn't like finish all the challenges in them, but I went through and played mm-hmm. all of the the main like like. I, you know, and I tried to play it like as close as I could, but I didn't do the thing like if I screwed up really, like if I killed someone that w- w- I wasn't supposed to, I didn't like completely you didn't start silent over. assassin it. Yeah, I mean, I did on a, like a couple of the the levels, but um, you weren't stressed about getting it. For yeah, I kind of figured I'm gonna go back through these anyways, mm-hmm. and but that 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 game is good. Oh my Hit gosh! Man? Oh yeah. man, it That's- is. I mean, I would have expected it after that last one. It, yeah, and I, and I will say it is more of the of that, but they've just you know they've made enough improvements. The thing is, like here here's an example for me of like we talked about suspension of belief with with like Fallout. <laughs> like yeah, this is like either they the developers of the game get it or they don't care. They just take it seriously enough that they know it's dumb, but they're going to take it seriously and play it play it 
play it that way. They're gonna they're gonna have like a stoic, uh, you know, kind of angle on it when they make this game because the fact that you can just like, you know, distract someone, knock them out, put their clothes on, and then walk up to the person that they were just talking to, <laughs> and they don't even react. Like, and oh, this is normal. <laughs> you just put on like glasses or something like Clark Kent style. And they're just like, hey, yeah, hey, how's it going? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And they just totally nothing happens. Like, like the developers of this game like have to know that that's kind of silly. Uh, but, but yeah, I just, it, it just something about that. It, it always kind of just strikes me as humorous in those games. But well, and it's funny that there's that there's so many different disguises that you can play as, and like. <laughs> So many people just have no idea that you're the other security guard that showed up for duty. But then there's always like two people that know that you're not supposed to be there and you've got to avoid them. Like it it doesn't make sense and it works in such a glorious way. Yeah. Um it it's great. And just, I can't wait to play that just one. Just the way yeah. the dumb stuff plays out is always fun to me. The way that yeah. it's like it's a clockwork game yeah. if yeah. there ever was one, but it's just like it's great to just like the suburbs map has got to be my favorite because I can just like wander into people's strangers homes and like i'm hiding in their attic and they don't know it <laughs> and i'm just up there with the sniper rifle just like this like leave it the beaver scenario but there's this murderous monster up in their attic right who has no remorse for what he does he he's, will see a nice programmed old lady hobbling down the street and be like oh he, she witnessed a crime syringe in the throat <laughs> he's probably uh, the one disguise. that is the, the, yeah. w- the old lady hobbling down the street yeah. <laughs> yeah i am disappointed that a lot of times i've ran into like female characters where i have not been able to like take their clothing uh, which is i want that too. disguise yeah i was like i want this to be real dumb i want to walk around in this polka dot dress <laughs> What um, is this? The, the, it's there's people a, walking into rakes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's yeah, rakes. The- <laughs> you can put rakes down and then they just smash into their face. <laughs> That's so awesome. Because they wouldn't see yeah. a rake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody's walked into a rake at yeah. a time or two in their lives. So hard that it uh. just disintegrates on their face. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just like it snaps in half too. That's what's great. The I just, it, I mean, it. You're right. The the hilarity of the stupid things that you can do with Hitman. As much as you can like take it so seriously, I always think of that stupid video that Trevor made where he had the the. <laughs> the head and they're like the what was it like a little statue and they're oh, they're like yeah. hey you can't touch that and he just like tosses it aside <laughs> like it's no big deal <laughs> sure yeah whatever <laughs> yeah so it's it's like it's like to me it's like slapstick video game it's like if uh, the three stooges made an assassination <laughs> game uh boy this suburbs <laughs> almost looks like if you had a if you had hitman in the sims oh yeah it's funny <laughs> it's like there was like a party going on for someone like a birthday party and i just like i just like wandered into the party and i was like <laughs> eavesdropping on their conversations and, oh like, yeah it's fine no, uh nobody was uh, nobody yeah. cares that this bald guy bald dude in, in a suit, suit just yeah. shows up and yeah this is normal oh yeah i like your barcode tattoo <laughs> uh, thanks i got it at- <laughs> Someplace, the, the tattoo shop. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's where it is. Uh, I, I've, we've still got games to get through here. Uh, I know Battlefield <laughs> Five. Uh, I've been playing some of that. I, I forget how much I like Battlefield I'm games. I'm excited to play until it, I though. play Battlefield games, and then I'm like, <laughs> oh, they've got this new mode. I, I tried. That's neat. Let's go to Conquest. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then I just play Conquest for hours. I love Conquest. Uh, it's yeah, so good. it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, there is a lot of just kind of like getting from you know each each capture point and like there's a lot of space in between there but yeah i love i always play the sniper the well, gun it sounds like the sniper's better oh, this time. the gun play is so much better than it is was it? the last time oh yeah. well, i guess they're not ancient guns <laughs> well but i think they just polished it too <laughs> like i'm th- sure yeah yeah no ancient it, guns huh yeah <laughs> uh and I, but i've just you know i i play those games and it's like you know you're on a team of 32 and i i I never like top of the board. It's a rare, but I'm always like sitting right in the middle and I just feel good about it. You well, know, like it, I'm like, I'm, I'm contributing. I'm enjoying yeah. this game. Like sometimes I get in the top five and I feel great about it, but like yeah. most of the time I'm just, and that's like having one of a good the time. things I've loved about battlefield so much is you don't have to just kill people. To yeah. Feel like you've helped the team. You can, even if you're a bad shot, sometimes you're just like, I laid down suppressive. Fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they and were watching right. out. <laughs> 
I made that guy flinch. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. You've you've done something. Yeah. But you existed. Yeah. So you've helped the team. Exactly. You, yeah. And so that's unless that's, you lose, I, and then you help it, the well, team. Well, but lose. there's so many ways to help. Like, yeah. Like there's so there's many ways. Ammo, to... health. Uh, well, even that, like, even when stuff. you spawn, like, <laughs> like if you if someone spawns on you, yeah, you yeah. get you get points for that. Uh-huh. Uh, like. There's just a lot of different ways that, like, I mean, even just go into the capture points. You can go yeah. and hide behind a crate, not shoot your gun, and just, like, <laughs> help capture stuff and, like, get way, like... It, capture w- points. That's what I, that's my, that's my game. Well, like, I remember when, with Battlefield 1, like, I know Jeremy and I would play sometimes, and we would just get in that weird, like, Jeep vehicle and just, like, <laughs> drive from point to point and capture them back and forth and go back yeah. and forth across the map, and, and we would always be, like, in the top of the, like, top two of the Because map nobody's because playing <laughs> those games for yeah. that. So <laughs> people don't play the objective, dang it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tank on me. Tank, tank, tank on me. Uh, <laughs> me. Oh. Uh, that's the Battlefield game. <laughs> Our song, Battlefield song. I forgot about that. That's when we were playing Battlefield 1, and yeah. Trevor's just like, I got a tank on me! <laughs> and I'm just like, silently, tank on me. Uh, anyways. I, that was a fun game to yeah. play together. Uh, that game is, and this is this is great. I love that the there's a more variety in the weapons now, because it is World War II. More like automatic weapons, more, the, it, it, the, the um, kind of your progress through the game and is just, a lot more satisfying than the other ones. I feel like there's just a lot more uh, upgrades to your weapons and a lot more diversity in how you can like add components to it and like everything is really customizable and it's just well they've got the, the cosmetics too, don't they? Yeah, they, like you unlock you unlock cosmetics for your guns, like skins, and then but it's like I mean it's and I get it they're doling it out pretty slow because it's like oh this is, is it this just is just for your butt of the gun and this is for the stock no, I, this is for oh, the, I wasn't thinking about the, the gun when you said butt oh yeah there's there's a there's cosmetics for your okay. character that's, too that's yeah. What, yeah I guess yeah yep yep nice. I've never cared about gun cosmetics on oh. Battlefield for some reason oh yeah I, ne- I guess I didn't either but this one it, it just is it's, it interesting it's kind of interesting just okay, I mean good. I guess when I'm saying cosmetics though is you've got like, you've got like sco- some, scopes and you've got you've got your different um, different barrels and you've got different like I don't know it's okay. it's cool. I'm excited. Uh, th- have, there is a single player mode. I played through that. I finished it. There's another portion of that coming out in a couple of days. Um, what do you and, think? And it it's fine. It's see. It's the, the actually. I feel like this. It's like a store. The story was handled really well in a lot of ways. But yeah. like, but the the gameplay. It's just not great. Like it yeah. just feels like you're just constantly just pushing back AI, and that's yeah. all the game is. It was just funny because Fun. I felt like in all the reviews I saw. It was like I saw a couple that were like, "It's the best Battlefield story ever," and then I heard like other ones that was like, "It was all right." Yeah, <laughs> just like I would say that the story is. I mean, it's no bad company. Come on, get real. Oh, what are you? Gosh, yeah, bad I company is yeah, awesome, yeah. but uh, but I think it's like it is a really reverent story. Like, and yeah. it tells unique stories from different perspectives. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, not to get all you know social justice, but it does. It does. It tells like a very interesting like female perspective mm-hmm. from the war or like the uh, a lot like I even was you know you kind of get an education about like a lot of the African soldiers that were brought in to fight for the French and like yeah they even talk about how like hey when 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 they started moving into Paris they kind of sent them along and were like hey we want familiar faces in Paris because they, we don't want to freak out any of the locals and like yeah. it's like wow that's really screwed up <laughs> uh, but so there's there yeah I, I think the story was handled like really really well but the Good. gameplay yeah. it's yeah. still like hey this is that multiplayer gameplay where we're just playing against ai so it's not yeah. fantastic uh we have run we're running out of time but i wanted to talk Sorry. to kuipers about i mean well, i i just have a question for yeah. you first though quick here what? since you're the one who's uh played uh we're excited for black ops 4 and battlefield 5 yeah which would you prefer better right now oh shoot it's kind of a hard choice though if i were Oh man, you know I don't know because I feel like I'm jaded because I played Battlefield recently. Like yeah. I really, really recency bias. I've really, really enjoyed what I've played of Black Ops. I think it's I think it's the best. Honestly, this is hard for me to say because it doesn't have campaign in it. But I'm, <laughs> I feel like it's the best Black Ops for they've multi- made. Like out for of like all the four multiplayer of them. stuff. Yeah, like it's just because the package is so diverse mm-hmm. with Blackout and everything. Blackout's awesome, and uh, it feels like the PUBG that. 
I want to play now. <laughs> like, I don't, mm-hmm. I'm just like, PUBG what? Like, Blackout is a lot yeah. more fun and polished. Uh, PUBG is one of my bigger regrets uh, of game purchase in a while. Uh, and then, I yeah, but I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I, I couldn't. If I had to pick they're, a baby right now, I'd pick Battlefield Five, but that's just because I played it more. Well, they're yeah, kind of so. deceptively different yeah. games. I'm really curious mm-hmm. to see what Firestorm is. That's they're going to be there. Like that's releasing later. They're going to release a battle royale. I, I, I didn't realize that GTA Online has a battle royale, but you can only use bow and arrows and knives, which yeah, sounds really that cool. sounds kind of weird. I, I love bow and arrow in that game. So is that I, just, I too, is that just some warm up and practice for Red Dead? Because no, it's what I said. He meant Red, Red Dead. Dead. What oh, did I say? You said you said GTA. GTA. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant Red Dead. So okay. I, Red Dead. Yeah. Red Dead. Red Dead Redemption Two Online supposedly has with yeah. just bows. That sounds, it sounds amazing. Yeah. Make yeah. it count is what it's called. Yeah. So. How many players can be in that? I don't, uh, I don't think it's that many. I can't. Uh, I didn't really research it that much. What were you asking, Kuipers? Were you asking because you're looking to make a purchase, or you're just asking? In no, I was just curious since you're the kind of one who's been the most excited, at least I think, of all of us for both games. Yeah, I'm just kind of curious on your take on that. I uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know that I would pick one. I I kind of bounce between those type. I, I look at those games as, hey, I've got, you know. 30 minutes to an hour to kill, you know, and I'm not going to get into some story driven game. I'm mm-hmm. going to like just play something quick. Uh, and right now I'm jumping to battlefield cause it's newer. It's got the shininess on it, but they're both really great. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, but Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Dude. I know it's, I know it's Pokemon yellow. I know that it's, it's Pokemon yellow. Nostalgia. That I don't even have nostalgia for Pokemon. I didn't yeah, even he, grow up he around it. You didn't oh start gosh. playing them until recently. This yeah. game is so cool. Did you get it? Yeah. I did. What did you get? Pikachu? I got Pikachu. It, I it, love it. Seeing all of the uh, the characters animated in the way... Kuipers. Now, I know you got the Eevee one, right? You got, yes, go I got Eevee. Eevee. But did you go to the thing where you could pet? Yes. Pet it, and you could just sit there like some weird, weird like <laughs> anime game where you touch the lady's boobies. So, just, you just you pet your po- Pikachu. Stop having puff puff with Pikachu. <laughs> just, oh no! I'm just saying it's like, like that weird like. Put yeah. Your hand so on so and, and true rub. story. True story about this. Gross. I got the game, and like when I first got the game, my roommate was ordering takeout, or he was like ordering food. To- and like his delivery was here, and I was just discovering that feature of just like being able to pet Evie and whatnot. Mm-hmm. He was like, "All right, Kuipers." Try not to be too weird. The delivery is about to be here. Try not to be too weird while, while they're here. <laughs> like, fine, but you can pet them. You just handle that like a hostage situation. You don't let them in the door. You just stand. Yeah. You stand at that's your door and you just be like, okay, give me the food. That's Here's some your stranger money. Stranger, come here. Yeah. Even if I invited them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always use my dogs as an excuse. Like, oh, the dogs are gonna eat you. I'm gonna what step delivery, out on my porch. What delivery people have invited themselves into well, your home? No, like it wasn't like it was just like the doors open and like the. Like the room where we have. What it. would you have been doing to Evie that the delivery person couldn't <laughs> well, see? Yeah, what are you doing to Evie? What are you Kuiper? petting no. Evie with? I think it was just the freaking out. Like, try not to be too yes. weird. Oh, like you like, were just I like, dude, Evie. you can pet Evie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just... Like you might embarrass me because I might want to like go on a date with the delivery person. Basically, uh, something oh, about So effect. you never, you never played this, Eric. Not you never yellow. Played yellow. I never okay. played yellow. I oh, played man. the. I played the recent. Pokemon games, which they're all fine, but they just they don't they don't have the charm of this because I they're just animated in so much more detail and like yeah, yeah. I, it's uh, great. Pikachu the, rides around on my shoulder. The music and everything. <laughs> the fact that your your Pikachu you can you can put different different clothing and different. I things can dress on Pikachu. Him. Yeah, um, I, I will admit I kind of do regret not getting Pikachu just because I think like the dressing Eevee, it doesn't look as great as it does on Pikachu. Uh, like probably the shirts, true, legs. but the you know what? Great. Now we can trade and now we can catch true. all 151 <laughs> Pokemon. Yay! Yeah. yeah, just you took the bullet. You yeah. took the, the bullet, Because I heard that, and I well, was like, oh, this is disappointing. There's like seven or eight different Pokemon that I can't get now, and it, now I can because I have Kuipers. It makes <laughs> up, though, too, at least like not choosing, not having Eevee to dress up better. I at least have like more clothing options myself because you get like clothes for like based on each evolution for Eevee. Oh, okay, yeah. So, oh, okay. I like, I like some of those a little bit better than... Some of the other ones. I, I just it, it's so cool, like the way that you can have an additional Pokemon follow you around. Yeah. And, and you can ride on them. Yeah, if they're big enough, you can ride. Have you gotten to a point where you can ride no, one? No, but my wife has, and I watched jealously as she played. I want to ride a Pokemon. 
Yeah, like Onyx out of nowhere. This is like what? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's once they awesome. evolve to a certain level, like you can ride them. Yeah, because they're they're ride as like big as ones, the right? po- yeah, yeah as certain they... ones. Like you ride on Snorlax's yeah. belly. You can't you can't ride a Charmander. <laughs> no, no, but you can. Pr- <laughs> what about yeah. those weird? Some of but like some of them are just creepy. Like the ones that have like the three mohawks. On there. What's that one? I don't know his name. Oh. I don't know these. But he gets yeah. beefy and big, and he just looks oh, like a, oh, or, or a burly man. Then turns, yeah, but ma- chop. I don't know, but maybe yeah. I. I just think so. it would be funny if they let me ride it like a, like piggyback style <laughs> <Yeah>. on him. <laughs> like he just that'd be awesome. Around. Well, like Snorlax, the huge fat one. Yeah, like you cling to its belly and as you run around <laughs> on it. <laughs> Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so that's amazing. They just did so much to like. I mean, yes, it is an iteration of eleven or yellow. I mean, and it, but it's just like it's it's they added a lot. Oh, to it just it. feels like a new game. The I one think, the one concern that I had about it with. Chomp. With the the eliminating like actually fighting wild Pokemon, um, it's it's fine because it gives yeah. everybody credit when you catch one. Well, in your party, it, yeah, in your party, it gives them all uh, experience, experience mm-hmm. which is like okay, perfect. I can actually grow them, and I don't have to fight the Pokemon. It seems like it. I mean, you still fight it, when you run into other when trainers, you run into trainers. Yeah. yeah, but in the original game, yeah, you would fight them. That's or the way all would, the games have been right. Before yeah, this. it kind of actually like and like goes back to the idea of gotta catch them all. Yeah. Like not yeah. just gotta catch the ones I like and power level them. <laughs> right. <laughs> gotta kill no. most of them and then. No. I, well, <laughs> one thing I don't understand is it seems. I mean. It doesn't seem like there's any reason for it so far in the, and I haven't gotten too far into it, but um, there's different genders for every Pokemon and sizes. It's it's so small yeah. and tall and, yeah. and big. And what do I do with my thirty extra Rattatat tat, Rattatas though? Send them back to the I professor. Think the yeah, size like size is because of uh, Pokemon Go. Oh yeah, there's some of the That's stuff new. I think kind of ties in with Pokemon Go, like, like you said. And, and I think you have to play yeah. like 15, 20 hours to even get to the part where you can connect it with Pokemon. Oh really? Go. Like yeah. yeah, it's That's f- kind of nice. It's though, one of the cities, basically, like the Safari Park. Yeah. In the original game, like it's now the Pokemon Go Park. Yeah. Interesting. And so <laughs> you can put a ki- like one of your Pokemon from Pokemon Go into this game. Yeah, like multiple, as long as it's, it's per- one of the ori- one of the first generation. Yeah. Correct. But it's but then it's permanently gone from your your game. Like oh, it's really? done from Pokemon. That, I yeah. like that. Yeah. That's that's cool. Yeah. But like they also give you candies for it in Pokemon Go when you transfer them over. Oh, so nice. it's it's like basically like you're transferring them just You're literally transferring. You're literally transferring now yeah. to yeah. still usable. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Although you do have to recatch them again, I found out. Oh, really? Like and like you have to recatch them in Let's Go. Oh, really? So oh, yeah. interesting. Okay. Yeah, that was kind of So I was if like, you don't catch it, you lose it forever? That well, no, be, it just like it wanders the park. Oh, basically. okay, okay, okay. Oh, but that's cool. That's kind of like, cool. Like you yeah. you have to go through you have to use like Pokéballs again when you already used Pokéballs to catch it the first time. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Which I'm like out of Pokéballs right now. I need to go get some. I need to find a Charmander uh, and a Squirtle and a I got a Squirtle. Nice. Uh, Where'd you find him? I talked to a lady and she was like, "Did you catch 60 Pokémon? I'll give you a Squirtle." What? And I was like, okay, yeah, I got, I got to give, nice. give, give me your squirtle. Give me that squirtle. And she gave me the squirtle. Uh, anyways, this game is awesome. Uh, it's, you know, I I was a little leery because I have bought Pokemon games in the past where I just hadn't got into them. And this one, I it's like out of all the games I've been talking about that I've been playing, I've been playing this more than any of them. Uh, <laughs> so, like, I've been playing, like, because it's just easy to, like, hang out on the couch yeah. and have, like, yeah. something on the TV and, like, just chill out and play this game. And it's, it's yeah. a chill, fun all right, everybody. We should wrap it up. I know we got a lot of other oh, stuff man. we missed out on, uh, but like we could we'll there, talk about them next week. Next, right? We could talk about maybe. Uh, but yeah, there's there. You know, if you're interested, where there's new console news coming out, there's stuff yeah. like that. Um, Hopefully, we'll get a little more information by maybe, next week. Maybe maybe there'll be a little more. This stuff broke even before last week's show would have happened. So uh, this is kind of old news, but uh, yeah, you can read that on the internet. But check out stuff on Xbox Scarlet and. PS5 5. potentially coming in 2020. Oh, man. I was going to say real quick, too. We need uh, a new wallet. If anybody is interested in checking out Star Citizen, they are having a free fly week right now. Free Ooh. fly week. Free so, fly yeah. before you so, yeah. have to pay them money. Well, it's it's a good way to try it. Yeah. yeah I, I, I don't encourage people to buy it right now because I know I am a freak and I enjoy it <laughs> and nobody else is like me. Well, it's but, just, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm. Well, it's, it's the thing of the, the there's, well, yeah. there's enough there for you to like, and especially yeah. you have cool ships and like, I yeah, have cool yeah. ships. I bought the yeah. cheap thirty dollar pack and I have a ton yeah. Of ships. Well, and then now, now is a good time to where you can try a bunch of like the really big ships and stuff. Oh, 
Like, there's one, like, a huge ship that I, I, I don't think, I don't know if I can try it anymore. I'm a little sad now. Star Citizen, it's still it. a game. But yeah, if you want to try it, kind do of. It. And if you buy something, use my code. Trevor's code. <laughs> All right, everybody. Yeah. Where, uh, can wife, where, where can one find Trevor's yeah, code? Oh, don't uh, encourage him, Kyle. <laughs> I, I'm assuming nobody's going to buy it. He'll tweet it, okay? People yeah. can look for it, it on Twitter. Pin it to the top of your Twitter feed. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, we didn't get any messages, but if you want to call us, you can leave us a voicemail at 475-TUB-CALL. That's 475-TUB-CALL. Or you can email us at the loop at minutetub.com. That's the loop at minutetub.com. We will uh, read your emails on air. Tell to- us how wrong we are about games. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me that Red Dead should have been my game of the year already. <laughs> uh, Star of War be. was terrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. That's not true. Yeah, all right, everybody. <laughs> we got to go. But before we go, we got to thank our Patreon Woo. Pepe's. These are all the lovely individuals at the co-producer level or higher. That means that they've donated $10 or more each month to support our cause. And our cause is to bring you this lovely entertainment. You know, it's like candy for your ears. And then your ears get all jazzed up on sugar. And then it's a fun Woo. time. Uh, I like but- sugar. Please, if you would like to also participate in being cool and awesome and, you know, highly esteemed in our eyes, go to patreon.com slash minute tub and subscribe at any level that you can afford or deem worthy. Uh, we do appreciate all of you in the chat that hung out and talked to us tonight. Well, we hope you come back tomorrow night for the Tubcast where we'll be talking about all kinds of other stuff. Uh, but, you know... Butts. We'll I be forgot talking why. About so butts. We're gonna be talking about butts. I'm sorry. No, I was gonna. Uh, thank. Uh, thanks for everybody in the chat. Uh, Ronan was saying that next year's game of the year will be Smash. No, sure. I think he said this year's because Smash comes no, out. No, he this said year. Smash. Oh, Smash the game of the year. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he was saying that earlier. Smash is g- game of the year. That's my game of the year. You guys already figured it out. I knew it would be. I saw you can get double gold coins if you're perch- if you're pre-ordering. That's Smash on all Nintendo games. On digital. Yeah. Digital. Is it? Yeah. On yeah. all of them. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I got that first. Pokemon and for dang it I missed out on golden coins getting the other ones getting the physical oh well (laughs) physical's garbage long live digital gaming I can't wait for the apocalypse and I won't have any games to play (laughs) that'll be fun have a good day now (laughs) but you're the girl Trevor (laughs) that's my girl